All right, BPC 157 for depression. Um, most people that kind of follow me know what BPC is, but BPC 157 is a peptide and it's found, it's naturally occurring in the gastric juice of our stomach. Um, and they found that it has, you know, a wide variety of healing properties, you know, specifically for um, actually healing the gut lining, but also um, kind of works to upregulate a number of different growth, well, not growth factors, but healing factors that, that um, you know, can work with muscle, tendon, ligament, bone. Um, you know, it even has, um, really cool prop well interesting properties for the brain um for traumatic brain injury just it does a lot of different things one of those things it sounds like snake oil sounds too good to be true but you know my experience and feedback in the community is that it actually is an extremely impressive pet one of the kind of one of the coolest compounds i've ever come across it significant it helped me significantly but i've i've posted other videos on like um you know how it helped um heal my gut and stuff but i don't see it discussed a lot for depression um kind of for the mental health aspect i mean obviously a, a ton of our neurotransmitters are produced in the gut so if you have chronic inflammation if you have gut issues um you know it can easily translate into you know cognitive and mood and, and um, um neurotransmitter imbalances i'm a little tired right now but uh, i need to crank this out um, yeah, so BPC for depression. Um, so when I started BPC, I was using it for specifically for gut issues, um, also a knee injury. Um, and, but what I did notice is I was still at that time, I was still kind of dealing with like kind of mood issues and stuff. Um, not like consistent depression, but just my mood just wasn't, con you know, wasn't where I wanted to be. You know, some days I just didn't feel that good. And so what I did notice with BPC, like, very quickly was it elevated my mood and so it does it definitely hits on dopamine for for some people they get a very a very noticeable uh mood boost um and there's it hits it does a lot of different things with dopamine and serotonin um there's studies really showing you know what areas it elevates what area it decreases it's, it's very interesting what it's doing um and i don't really understand i mean i i can't even um begin to kind of guess why it's it's hitting on all those different systems and, and it's why I was having those interactions it's, it's over my head but either way I feel it um it's it can be very stimulant for some people it's like over stimulating but when it's you know when I get the dose right it's just I can just tell for me like I've used a lot of different kind of dopamine agonists and stuff because with ADD usually it's it's dopamine related where um you just don't have you're just kind of lacking dopamine um and so it's difficult to focus it can be difficult to focus on tasks for to do things that you don't want to do it's like it's extremely difficult you know i'm extremely distractible obviously i'm all over the place um but yeah so i use i found that you know using different kind of things that stimulate improve dopamine help with the motivation help me to be productive and stuff um and that's what kind of BPC was. BP was, so I was, when I took BPC, it was like, it was easy to stay motivated. I didn't kind of burn out, you know, usually for me, I'll burn out at like two, three o'clock. And after, after that time, it's just like my motivation, my willpower is just like done. Like I'm like useless. Um, and BPC was just like, wow, like I just feel, and it just felt good. I just felt motivated. And a lot of people, a lot of people notice that not every single person, I mean, everyone's different and it's just, you know, you're never going to have one compound that affects every single person the same. Um, but it definitely has that potential. And it's, you know, especially for someone that deals with consistent depression that might be linked to gut issues or traumatic brain injury. It's, it's definitely worth trying. Um, the, or I don't, I can't say I hear this much with the oral cause you will find oral BPC in the capsule form. Um, for gut issues, it seems like it does, it does help, but you just gotta fly on the fire. I'm distracted. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm spacing out. But yeah, so you just gotta watch out with what you're buying for BPC. There's some gyp there's some just plain gypsy companies like, you know, selling intranasal BPC that's just like underdosed. I can't remember what it is, like Gorilla, Gorilla Minder. I can't remember. One of these, one of these companies. Some you just need to be careful where you buy from. Um, like I've if you're part of my community and part of my Facebook group, I always talk about either Can Lab, Peptide Sciences, or Limitless um, Life Nootropics. Those three just consistent over the years. Um, you know, we have so much feedback that just consistently this stuff produces the results it's supposed to. And then, you know, these other suppliers, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's some other decent suppliers, but if, um, 
if you're not running your own independent testing on that, you just don't know what you're getting. Like a lot of these guys are just buying direct, you know, literally on, you know, from Chinese wholesalers. And if they're not batch testing, you don't know what, you have no idea what you're getting. And the prices these dudes are selling at, they're not batch testing. You can't, you're not running batch tests on every single product. So it's like, these guys are just buying, relabeling, like, sorry, these dudes, you're, they don't have a, they don't have a synthesis lab. You know, it's, it's 250,000 to 500,000 to have a, to get all the equipment you need to synthesize peptides. This is a complete side tangent, but um, yeah, just be careful where you source stuff. Talk to the community, join these big, big peptide communities and listen to what people are telling. Don't, don't try to source out the cheapest crap because you're going to get crap. Um, but yeah, so when you use the right product at the right dose, um, you can get really great, you know, benefits with the brain. Um, and I experienced that, you know, for me, it worked and it worked consistently. It wasn't like when I stopped, it wasn't like a crash. It wasn't like using a stimulant where, you know, I felt like, you know, with caffeine, it's almost like you're just, you're just swiping a credit card where it's like, it's not real energy. You're, you're jacking up your adrenaline and cortisol. It's like, you have to pay that back. Like that's not, you know, that's not healing anything or it's, it's not improving. It's just a band aid. Like BPC could be healing, you know, things underneath and you could get, it's possible to get long-term lasting results because of the, the gut healing effects and the anti-inflammatory um, benefits and brain benefits, all that stuff. Um, but like I said, I, I really liked it. It worked like a new, it works like a nootropic for me and I don't, there's not a lot of nootropics I like. Um, like I said, I'm pretty open about what actually works. And it's like, I'm just, I'm not impressed with, you know, your classic nootropics at all. Like, I mean, some people love racetams. Um, and a was okay for me. But it's just like, I don't know, it wasn't, this stuff wasn't consistent. It's like peptides have always felt, they feel natural for me. It makes sense because it's like, these are bioidentical compounds that our body knows how to utilize. We're optimizing, you know, we're optimizing things kind of naturally. We're not synthetically just artificially pushing stuff up and suppressing. It's like, that's the problem with synthetics is I can just see, it's okay, you get, maybe you'll get an effect, but then you get all these side effects because it just doesn't sync up in the system, right? Um, if that makes any sense, it's kind of this, this natural, this like treating, like natural medicine that makes sense to me instead of this synthetic model where it's just like, it just, it just doesn't work for me. I've always felt best with peptides. Um, but yeah, so BPC is worth trying. So here, the main reason I made this video is, so I love BPC. I've posted about it all the time. It helped me significantly in my journey. I haven't used it. I don't really use it that much anymore. Um, it really did kind of play into actually healing my gut. I don't have gut issues anymore, um, which is kind of crazy to say because for 10, 15 years, you know, that's that was all I did was research and try to figure this, figure the gut stuff out. Um, but so recently, so here's the here's the caveat to BPC that nobody, you're not gonna, you're gonna have to kind of dig deep to look into. Um, you're not gonna hear any doctors discuss this, but for some people, BPC, it it gives them a, a negative mood effect where we, I don't really understand why, it's just, you know, we're all, it's bio-individuality or whatever, um, we're all wired differently, but for some people, they don't feel good with BPC. Some people, it will flatten their mood, it does, it does affect the way that stimulants work. Some people say that they, the stimulants stop working for them. It does bind to opiate receptors, so if you're using an opiate it may completely blunt the response of that um create it does work that way with kratom which is kind of um it does, does bind to the opiate receptors but so you need to be careful so people in the group some people report that they don't they don't really they're not kind of aware of the possibility of those negative effects and some people will say that they start bpc and they say they've been doing it for weeks or something. They said they feel terrible, like their mood's flat, you know, they're anxious, they're not sleeping good. And it's like, okay, like that's a clear sign. BPC is not a good fit for you. It's pushing your, it's pushing the neurotransmitters in a balance that's just, it does not work for your brain. Um, and I have, you know, initially when I got these reports, I thought it was BS, you know, I thought, I literally thought I'm like, some of these people are just crazy. Like this is all psychosomatic. Um, but so here's the, here's the, uh, the funny thing about this is so, I've used BPC about four or five years now, off and on, you know, periodically. But so recently, um, the few times I've been using BPC, I really haven't felt that good. Um, and I was like, I kind of thought it was BPC, but I wasn't quite sure. And I'm always careful with when I'm running experiments. You know, I do, I isolate my variables where it's like, I'm not dumping in a bunch of stuff at once. Like I'm really dialed in. I'm very self-aware of, you know, what is doing what. And I just, you know, a couple times I'm like, man, I'm like, I swear like BPC is like kind of giving me a flat mood effect. 
um, where it's just, I mean, if you ever had, I don't know, I'm sure not too many people have experienced anhedonia, but it's like, you just, you don't, you feel just flat. Like you don't feel anything. You're just blah. Like it's, it's really a terrible, terrible feeling. Um, and I felt, I know, I've gone through horrible depression, anxiety. Like I've experienced a wide range of things where it's like, anhedonia is like, you just don't, you don't feel anything. Just blah. Um, and I swear the last couple times I was doing that and I just, you know, I kind of brushed it off and I was just doing other stuff and I don't really, like I said, I don't really use BBC that much anymore. So I just kind of was just transitioning to other stuff. But I recently, the last two days I was using BPC again and the first day I didn't catch it. I just kind of thought maybe it was just kind of an off day and I didn't, I didn't use a lot. I was using the intranasal, which you can do. Um, and I just felt a little off. And then yesterday I did, I did, um, 500 micrograms which is, you know, a pretty, pretty standard dose. And I did that injection and injection, you're getting 100% bioavailability. And I noticed, I, I knew it within like a couple hours. I was like, I just did not feel, I just didn't feel good. And it just got worse and worse. Um, and kind of by, so the effects of BPC are said to last about six hours, but there's a trailing effect. And it's just like, I don't, I mean, I don't know how long, how long the kind of the residual effects last yeah the, the peptides broke it down it has those effects but i mean it's it's kind of changing things um but usually this stuff clears out but long story short you know by midday i was like yup i was like i do not feel good like mood was flat i felt a, i even felt a little bit anxious and it's like i haven't felt anxious in a long i felt stressed in a long time um but it was stressful because i'm like okay i'm like shit i'm like is this gonna last like you know being in that it's you know i've been through the roller coaster so like i'm usually pretty good at managing um you know stress response and stuff to like when things kind of get out of balance where it's like i've i've you know spent time feeling very uncomfortable so it's like i'm usually pretty good at like you know keeping level head but this i'm just like oh shit i'm like am i you know is this gonna last i'm like it's just such a terrible feeling where i was just like god this is really freaking me out um but yeah, and, it's, and the problem is some people don't catch this. They don't realize what's happening and they keep dosing it because they want, because they're, they're so excited to use BPC and it's not their fault. But it's like, you just gotta be careful where it's like, if you start low and slow, you're gonna know, like the people that have a strong response, you're gonna feel it within a day, within a couple days, you're, gonna, you're going to know. And that's why I just don't advise people dumping all things at once, like always low and slow. Like that's always the, always my advice for approach with the people that I kind of coach and work with. Um, but yeah, so BPC's off the plate for me now. Um, luckily there's still, I mean, KPV is another peptide that's good for gut. Luckily my gut is good now, but it's just, um, it's interesting to see like how, how my tolerance has changed this is kind of just a random, you know, musing things I've noticed is that over the years, as my health's improved, as I've healed my, how I respond to things is completely different. And BPC is like, it's just weird. Like it's off the plate for me now. Um, it's just, I don't mean my body's like, you just don't need it. And maybe it's pushing, it's pushing things, you know, too far in one way. Cause it's like my dopamine, you know, my, I feel pretty balanced, um, mentally now, not that I was not imbalanced before, but I was just dealing with kind of mood swings and, um, you know, anxiety, all this, all this crap, but yeah. So just kind of be careful with that. And I'm spacing out again, ADD. Um, but yeah, just something I wanted to put out there. Like I said, I just don't see enough people kind of talking about that. Um, it's just a, it's just a good kind of, just a good thing to, to know. Um, if you're looking into BPC, like I say, it's a great option for, if you're experienced depression, some people even helps with anxiety. I mean, it can heal. It works on the GABA system too. Almost, it looks like it modulates the GABA system. Um, so it'd be interesting for, um, like benzodiazepine repair after I wouldn't say, um, during, obviously I've, I've posted videos on coming off of benzodiazepines. I don't, I can't say I noticed it helped during, I mean, I'm sure it can help with like the inflammation and all the crap that goes on from uh, getting that thing out of your body. Um, but yeah, just some, uh, another useful tip I felt like sharing. Um, that's all I got. Like I said, uh, I'll post, I'll post a link for the group below. I actually have, I have discount codes for can lab and limitless peptide sciences. I've tried reaching out to them. I never get, I never get in contact with them, but I'm actually good friends with uh, Jean-Francois Tremblay who owns can lab. And then I also know the limitless owner. I have a good relationship with them. And uh, like I said, I, I, I trust those suppliers. I know that 
I know that the, the products are properly tested and the results. And it's like really the biggest thing is just community feedback. We've got, you know, years after years and years of people just saying, you know, this stuff works. No one's getting reactions. You know, I know a lot of a lot of line people in my community mold that's like these people if these people are tolerating the peptides, then I know they're clean. And it's like that's those are kind of like my guinea pigs where I'm like, all right, if you guys are saying this is good, then you know it's it's definitely a clean product and like i said i've, I've used it myself so that's that's kind of why i plant my flag when it comes to that stuff all um, that's all i got peace out